Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. Do you like Diamond, Pearl, Platinum OU? Of course you do. Is that even a question? It's the best tier that's ever existed. Well, here's a game against Superblaw411. Last night, we were in a Discord call, and it was like, Hey, Gen 4 is really fun. You want to play? Yeah, sure. I don't have a team. I don't have one either. So we both went and grabbed uh, some RMTs. He actually grabbed a team with a Garchomp, but I mean, there's no team preview, so you don't know that yet. Anyway, leading off here, I lead my lead Ace Elf, and he leads Bronzong. I'm actually banded, so I'm just going to hit him up with a U-turn. Not sure what he wants to do, whether he wants to rock, snow, you reflect. He ends up going for Hypnosis, which is pretty lame, as a cocoon is going to fall asleep. But I'm pretty sure on this turn, he is just going to get up rocks or switch out, so I can get my Toxic Orb on Prelim activated. And it's pretty much a free sub substitute for me. Um, luckily his Celebi's U-turn doesn't even break my sub, so I know he's probably more of a defensive build. And I'm gonna get off a free Spore on whatever he has. Uh, he ends up going to Bronzong, but it is Lump, but I am faster, so <laughs> I can just put it right back to sleep. And at this point, uh, Subloom is just gonna do what Breloom does. I mean, like, it, Breloom in Gen 4 is just incredible. It, it might be the most annoying Pokemon of all time. Because it, it heals itself, it has perfect accuracy sleep, it's just, just, just Breloom, man. Just Breloom things. Put that on a t-shirt. Anyway, he goes to Milo. I'm going to put it to sleep. I know that activates Marvel skill, so I'm going to be pretty much forced out. I go into Heatran, predicting not really anything, but I mean, Heatran's a pretty good safe switch in Gen 4. And he has Celebi, which means I can get up rocks for free as he's forced out. I'm going to go to Suicune on his Garchomp just as fodder. Uh, kind of risky, because if he was Sub or SD or any other variant of Garchomp other than what appears to be choice, otherwise he probably would have taken that turn to set up. Uh, I would have been in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I can just go to Ace Elf and go for his Zen Head, but uh, I am Bandit. It's going to do a lot to his Chomp, and I'm pretty sure he might be locked into Earthquake, so it was rather safe. Um, I'm going to switch Heatran into Heatran. I am Shuka, which means even if he goes for Earth Power, I can live one. And uh, at this point in the match, I can just fire off an Earth Power Risk the Speed Tie. I don't know if he's Shuka, uh, or I don't know what item he is. At all. I think he actually revealed Lefties, which means he's probably more of a defensive build. Either way, um, his Milo is asleep, and I have Flash Fire activated, so I'm just going to go for a Fire Blast. He ends up switching and Chomp that turn, and it takes an absolute truckload, which is great. Unfortunately, Shuka cannot save you from a Garchomp's Earthquake if you are a Heatran. So I'm going to go to Azelf. This turn, just click U-Turn. It might have actually killed Garchomp from that range, but... Now we have the infamous Flygon on Heatran matchup, and I click U-turn because that's what you normally do in that situation, and unfortunately uh, he stays in, and clicks Rest, which is kind of unorthodox, I don't think I've ever seen Rest on a Heatran in Gen 4, but I mean Heatran can pretty much do anything it wants in Gen 4, so anyway, I'm going to end up tricking it a Choice Band on this turn, which is nice because it means my Azelf now has lefties, and I recognize my Azelf is going to be pretty useful in the rest of this game. And on top of that, because of Gen 4 mechanics, uh, he pulled Sleep Talk, um... Uh, he, or he slept talked a rest on the turn where I tricked him the choice band, so now he is locked into rest. And yeah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna end up critting this U turn here on the melodic, and I'm like, okay, he's at 20%. I can go with the Flygon and finish this off with an earthquake, right? Uh, nope, joke's on me, because Flygon's weak as hell, and he's gonna wake up this turn and recover with melodic, so I'm pretty much forced out because I know he has Ice Beam. Azelf will be able to live said Ice Beam, and uh, I can just continue firing off Zen Headbutts. I know they're lefties Zen Headbutts and not uh, Choice Bandit anymore, but they still do a respectable amount to Melodic, and of course I always do have that 20% I believe chance to flinch, which is pretty, pretty nice. Unfortunately, Melodic is it's a very good bulky water, in Gen 4 especially, because it, it has relatively close to the same bulk as Suicune, just it actually has access to the move recover, so... Um, I'm just gonna continue firing him off. His Celebi is gonna chew this U-turn, but it gets it really low, and I can just go straight out to Flygon, which is gonna either force it out immediately or whatever. He's gonna end up U-turning off my Flygon, which is fine. At this point, I made a really poor play. He still hasn't revealed his last, and I locked myself in a Scarf Outrage. Uh, I should have clicked Earthquake, obviously, because his Celebi was low as well. But uh, what this is gonna allow him to do is set up with a late game Lucario, which is like Gen 4 in a nutshell. Luckily, he's Life Orb and not Focus Sash, because if he was Focus Sash, I just lost, and it would have been, hey, idiot, don't let Lucario set up late game on you. But luckily, he was Life Orb, which means I sack two things. Um, I recognize my last mod is going to be really, really useful for helping me win this game. So I'm going to go with the Azelf. Uh, his Heatran is still asleep. I go for Zen Head, but I'm not quite sure why. Like, I could have just exploded, especially because removing one of the things that he had left would be really helpful. But either way, I have Jirachi left, and it's actually Calm Mind 3 attack. So 
HP ground is going to be able to kill off his Heatran. He's going to go to Selby, and after rocks, it is just low enough where I don't have to set up a combine to kill it. I'm going to be able to kill it off with a Psychic. And last but not least, he has Melodic. Uh, I don't think Thunderbolt's going to kill from this range, and he basically said, show me combine, then I'll just forfeit. And I showed him combine, and he forfeits. So, um, fun, fun game, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure Gen 4 is, it is impossible to not have a fun game in Diamond Pro Platinum. So, let me know if you guys, I don't know what sound just came out of my mouth, I tried to swallow and say let me know at the same time and it kind of like squeaked. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down below, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing more Gen 4. Uh, it's definitely a tier that, I think it's the only tier I actually have fun playing right now, so you guys you guys have mentioned a few times on my most recent video, just please upload some Pokemon again, any Pokemon, I don't really care. So I would be more than happy to upload Dumbo Pro Platinum, because it's just such a fun and diverse tier. You, there's so many, so many fun, it's just fun, fun. Pokemon, make Pokemon fun again, please. Well, you did, just, you have to go back a few generations. Gen 6 is okay. Gen 5 is... Gen 5 is so broken that it is fun, but Gen 4 is just fun. It, it really is. There's nothing, nothing about it that isn't fun. Um, <laughs> anyway, Sun and Moon got announced. I haven't actually talked about it on my channel yet. It's kind of cool, right? Uh, new games. Hopefully they have something to do with Zygarde because I feel kind of ripped off that Zygarde didn't even get a get any like he has all these new forms that got revealed and then they just kind of like swept that under the rug and said oh yeah sun and moon also screw spoilers because a, a nintendo direct where they announced a new game out of the blue would have been amazing but we all knew about the games like 24 hours in advance anyway that's all for me i hope you guys enjoyed this one check out my other videos if you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time bye